What's going on, guys? This is Dot Panic with another episode of Not today. <laughs> Sorry, no Minecraft uh, yesterday or today. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll get something going. I just get stuff going, and then Friday or Thursday we're supposed to have a power outage. Supposedly for night, not from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it's like, great. What am I gonna do then? So hopefully I should be able to get some stuff going. Uh, get some Minecraft. Hope. I'm gonna try to get some up tomorrow. I just got, I just have a, blah, had some stuff going yesterday, and I couldn't get going on any uh, Minecraft and uh, whatnot, and um, kind of carrying over today. So I thought I would do this. Um, now this, I'm actually gonna do a little review on Star Trek Into Darkness. So for all of you who don't really care, you can shush off right now. <laughs> so as you know, me and Brandon went and saw Star Trek Into Darkness. And it was freaking amazing. Holy crap. Personally, I think it was better than the first one. Brandon disagrees. He still thinks it has that nostalgia. Or nostalgia. Uh, some other word. Uh, some other N word or something other like that. <laughs> but because um, he wasn't a Star Trek fan before. So, so it's, not, uh, it's not nostalgia, obviously. But that kind of new th new feeling that you don't get when you watch a, a sequel to a movie um, that you've originally saw for the first time. So for Brandon, when he saw Star Trek, it was just new, it was awesome, it was amazing, it was different than what he expected, and it was awesome. And then for him, Star Trek Into Darkness was still freaking amazing, but he still had that factor that Into Darkness does not have. Uh, so for him, he liked... Um, the first one better personally since I've been a Star Trek fan since I was probably four or five uh, you know for me that that factor wasn't in the original Star Trek or not the original but you know 2009 version of Star Trek so I mean there was a little bit just because they're hey like you can over a deck in my cat <laughs> but for me you know even though there was a little factor that went into uh the 2009 version of Star Trek, um, Into Darkness, I feel, was much better. It flowed a little bit better. Um, there was more parts where you're just like, yeah! and like Star Trek had a few parts where you're like, okay, let's pick up a little bit and kind of move along. I mean, not a lot. I mean, not like half the movie type of thing, and just like a few snippets here and there. So, uh, so, anyways, I'm not gonna give any spoil, no spoilers. Don't worry. And anyone who gives a spoiler in the freaking comments is a douche. That's right, a douche. Anyways, um, this one was freaking amazing. And now, I personally still think Star Trek II: The Wrath of Khan was the best Star Trek film. Um, it had a freaking amazing story. It brought back a character from the original series and was just so well acted, so well written and music was amazing and all that it was just freaking amazing and by far by far was the best star trek film of all time uh, i don't know if we're ever going to surpass that one um this one was really good um and part of it you know you, you go from you know all the other star trek movies weren't they're not as fast paced um as these last two have been um, there's there's more action. The graphics are marginally better. Um, a different director, um, different composer, and, and such. And so you just get a completely different Star Trek. Um, I love it. I think it's great. And um, there's a lot of people who don't like it um, that have been fans. They're like, oh no, it's gonna be like this. You know, this I don't like this. I don't like this. And there's stuff I don't like about it. Um, but you know what? You know, there. This is what they were trying to do. I mean, not. You know, be like, oh, we want these fans to hate us. And hardcore fans, I mean, I'm a hardcore fan. I love Star Trek. But there's some other hardcore fans that are so into Star Trek. So, like, okay, you have to do this and this and this. And they're like, oh, that's not in the film. Oh, why would they do this? And they just don't like it. And that's going to happen. It doesn't matter what you do. You're not going to appease everybody. You're not going to appease all fans. And so what they were trying to do was bring Star Trek into a larger audience. And they did that very easily. Brandon was no way a Star Trek fan before he saw the um, Star Trek in 2009. Um, and now he's a fan. He's probably not a fan of the 
you know, the seasons or the, the series and um, all the other Star Treks. But you know, he's a huge fan of these past two ones. So, you know, this is what the Abrams was trying to do is bring a larger audience in. And they did that. And Star Trek Into the Darkness, just a whole nother level of what Star Trek did. Um, was the writing was still incredible. Um, they could do more jump into what they wanted to do as whereas um, Star Trek they had to have a, a pretty good backstory. Um, they had to bring Spock in from the future and that whole backstory and they so there's things they had to go along and they had to do um, and then into, into darkness they didn't really have to do that. It was a small backstory of what was going on since Star Trek and um, and you know it was freaking awesome. The beginning is just holy crap. It is awesome. It just jumps right into. So and then you, it's every step of the movie. You're just there's no there's not one part in the movie you're just like, okay, let's go, not one second. I mean, it just you you were I mean, about halfway through the movie, both me and Brandon were like sitting forward like, what's going on next? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Partially him, his butt got numb, but for me, I was just like, oh, this is amazing. So you can make fun of Brandon and his numb butt, <laughs> his numb butt. Um, let's see, what else? It's, it's hard to really give a, a direct review just because I don't want to give away the spoilers um, of what, what you know, happened in the movie and what went on. And so, definitely go see it. I mean, I this is the best movie I've seen. I think, you know, Dark The Dark Knight Rises was my last movie that I was like, holy crap, this is the best movie I've seen in a long time. And I think this was marginally better than The Dark Knight Rises. And I loved The Dark Knight Rises. It was a little long, it was, but it flowed better than The Dark Knight. Uh, but anyways, I think Star Trek Into Darkness is by far much better than The Dark Knight Rises as a as a movie and as a whole and, and whatnot. So, holy crap, it was great. Uh, the effect, the visual, visually it was amazing. The acting was incredible. Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays John Harrison in the movie, was just fantastic anytime he was in the scene um with a speaking because there were sometimes he was just like fighting and stuff anytime he was had a speaking role his they wrote his lines so perfectly he just stole the scene when when he was speaking in it and it was just incredible um and all the all the actors were played pretty good i still think anton yelchin who plays Chekhov, um the russian accent is a little heavy um, and that's like my that was my biggest gripe from Star Trek is accents too heavy, but okay whatever. Um, and Spock, um, old Spock, future Spock only had a brief cameo appearance, um, which I kind of expected. You know, I wasn't expecting him to have a huge role in it, and um, they involved Klingons a little bit, and that was pretty cool. It was interesting to me that because in the original series the Klingons were. Um, they didn't have the ridges or anything. Um, they were just basically um, humans with really dark skin that were strong uh, and had bad teeth. <laughs> so it was great that they they did not go that route, even though they explained why that happened in Star Trek Enterprise, um, which was great. So anyways, that was fantastic, seeing Klingons for the first time and you're hearing all the Klingon and... It's really cool. I didn't really like the two ships, you know. They just they seem like kind of Klingon, but not what you're expecting. You're expecting maybe to see a bird of prey or something, but you see these kind of too much outside detail on the Klingon ships. Personally, I think um, they still looked cool, but I think there was like a lot of exposed parts, and I was like, eh, don't really like it all that much. But still, it was pretty cool and. Um, that chase scene right there was awesome. And then the fight scene when um, John Harrison comes in. Woo! Crazy good. Crazy good. It was just awesome. So, definitely a go. Um, I would give that easily a 10, you know. Um, 10 out of 10. Um, I would actually give it higher than that if I could. You know, maybe like a 13. That was a fantastic movie. It was so good. And I do plan on going and seeing it later this week or next week. Um, probably next week just because I have some time off next week so if I go see it next week and just in 2D if you can go see it in IMAX 3D do it it is incredible oh, it is so good um, there's a few scenes that get a little blurry in the action sequences but other than that it's fantastic 
I'm going to go see it again, not in IMAX. I'm going to go see it just the 2D version. Um, it's cheaper. and I've seen it in 3D. I don't need to see it twice. So <laughs> um, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little movie review. Um, if you like movie reviews and you want me to go see movies and review them, um, let me know. It doesn't have to be in theaters. It can be just movies that you guys enjoy and you want me to, you want to see how, what I think about them. So anyways, that's that. You guys have an awesome day. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and you guys, yeah. If you guys want more of these videos, the the review videos doesn't have to be movies, can be TV shows, can be um, video games, whatever. Um, just just let me know, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.